Hello, and welcome to Everything Travel and Health. I hope you are doing great. Are you a midwife who trained abroad and is willing to immigrate to work in Canada as a registered midwife? Then this video is for you. Midwifery is a highly regulated profession, and just like nursing, each province in Canada has its own regulatory body. In some provinces, nursing and midwifery have the same regulatory body, while in others, they are different. To be able to practice in any of these provinces as an internationally educated midwife, you must first be registered with one of these regulatory bodies. So, if you're an internationally educated midwife, IEM, who wants to practice midwifery in Canada, then this video contains all the information on how to become eligible and meet the requirements to apply for registration. It contains a step-by-step -step guide on how to register and become licensed to practice in Canada. Ensure you watch this video to the end so as to fully understand the process and be able to navigate your way through. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so to be able to enjoy more of our upcoming informative and educational content. Click the notification bell to be informed of our future uploads. To practice as a regulated health professional in Ontario, you must be a member of your profession's regulatory college and hold a certificate of registration. Regulated health professionals are required by law to deliver competent, ethical, and professional services and are accountable to the public through their respective colleges. The College of Midwives of Ontario CMO, regulates the profession of midwifery in Ontario. The CMO was established with the proclamation of the Regulated Health Professions Act and the Midwifery Act to govern midwifery in the interest of public safety. To practice as a midwife in Ontario, internationally educated midwives must hold a certificate of registration and meet the requirements set out by the CMO. To become eligible for the certificate of registration, Internationally educated midwives must meet the following registration requirements. 1. Be a graduate of the International Midwifery Pre-Registration Program IMPP. The IMPP is a one-year bridging program offered at Ryerson University. It is designed to offer assessment and upgrading to internationally trained midwives to ensure that they meet the required standards to practice in Ontario. I will talk more about this program shortly. 2. Successfully complete the Canadian Midwifery Registration Examination. 3. Be currently certified in Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation CPR, Obstetrical Emergency Skills ES, and Neonatal Resuscitation NRP. 4. Pass the Ontario Midwifery Language Proficiency Test MLPT. 5. Hold Canadian citizenship, landed immigrant status, or an open employment authorization. 6. Hold membership with the Association of Ontario Midwives AOM. 7. Have arranged professional liability insurance through the Association of Ontario Midwives AOM. Let's now talk about the International Midwifery Pre-Registration Program IMPP. The International Midwifery Pre-Registration Program IMPP, is a nine-month bridging program. It provides internationally educated midwives with the following Knowledge and Skills Assessment and Enhancement Orientation to Midwifery Practice in Ontario Professional Communication Training Neonatal Resuscitation NRP Emergency Skills Workshop ESW, and FHSL Certification A 16-week clinical placement with competency assessment A 6-month accelerated stream for qualified entrants Preparation for the Mandatory Canadian Midwifery Registration Examination CMRE. 
The IMPP is intended for experienced, internationally educated midwives who are fluent in English and have practiced midwifery within the past 10 years. Now, let's talk about eligibility for this program. To be eligible to apply to the IMPP, you must meet the following requirements. 1. Be a Canadian citizen, permanent resident, or a protected person in Canada, refugee, with official permission to work in Canada. Note that the IMPP does not accept applications for IEMs in other countries wishing to use visitor or student visas. 2. Have completed a midwifery education program anywhere in the world. 3 have practiced midwifery in the role of primary midwife, most responsible attendant, at a minimum of 100 births within the past 10 years. Note, primary care births that were part of your midwifery education may be counted towards 70 of the 100 required births. 4. Have practiced midwifery full-time after completion of a midwifery education program for a minimum of six months and been the primary midwife at a minimum of 30 births during this period. This work period may have been paid, voluntary, or a postgraduate work placement. 5. You must have taken the IELTS academic examination and achieved minimum scores of 7 in each component. An IELTS test report form is valid for two years. The IMPP will consider applications for extensions of up to one year to enhance access. All applicants must have taken the academic IELTS examination, even if English is their first language and their midwifery education was in English. So, how can you apply for this program? If you are interested in the IMPP program, you are expected to contact imp at torontoma.ca for information. Let's now talk about how much the program costs. The total cost of tuition for IEMs is $7,000. Resources such as books and other learning materials cost $300 to $500. Participants must have a car 24-7 during the 16-week clerkship, a computer, and a cell phone, and if they need to move for the clerkship, they may need to pay rent for approximately four months, depending on living arrangements. The IMPP is offered annually on a schedule that ensures that graduates can write the CMRE as soon as they finish and interview for a job in Ontario at the same time as the annual graduation of MEP students. With this schedule, you can be sure to have a job as soon as you become registered. Upon completion of the International Midwifery Pre-Registration Program IMPP, Applicants will be given a transitional certificate of registration in order to meet the clinical birth numbers required by the college's registration regulation, as well as to make up any gaps in clinical skills identified during the International Midwifery Pre-Registration Program. Supervision will typically last anywhere from 6 to 12 months. At that time, the applicant's certificate of registration will be changed from transitional to general. Note that IMPP graduates can practice in all provinces and territories where midwifery is regulated and midwifery positions are available. So, if you are a midwife and you are considering moving to work in Canada, then start planning today. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, and ensure you subscribe and share with friends and family. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. I'll see you in my next video.